Hi, this video is about how to build your first WordPress website. My name is Luke and I'll take you hand in hand all the way from choosing the right platform for your website to hosting your website to actually building your WordPress website today. So why WordPress? I've been using WordPress professionally for over 13 years. I've grown with it and I'm not alone. Today, WordPress powers a whopping 43% of the entire internet. It was and still is the best choice for me for a number of reasons. For this video, I'll be using Elementor Hosting for WordPress. I find it to be the fastest and safest way to get going with building your first WordPress website. So, what is hosting? In short, it's like renting a space in a building. Only this is a space for your website's media and files on the internet. In some hosting companies, you may need to manually install WordPress and an SSL, which adds a layer of security, and they might charge an extra fee. The method we're using is Elementor Hosting for WordPress, which is perfect for WordPress beginners. It comes with everything that you need for your website pre-installed. You'll soon see what I mean when we start creating our first WordPress website. Designing your website. Every WordPress website requires a theme. A theme controls the look and feel of your WordPress website. Customizing a theme isn't an easy job, which is why page builders like Elementor give you more design control with drag and drop features, no coding required. With Elementor hosting for WordPress, you get Elementor Pro Page Builder and Hello Theme pre-installed, providing even more design capabilities for headers, footers, and more. Plugins and features. But what is a plugin? A plugin adds new features to WordPress websites. There are many types of different functionalities like backups, security, forms, and pop-ups. Elementor hosting provides security, performance, and backup functions, reducing the need for extra plugins. Elementor Pro has robust design capabilities, eliminating the need for additional plugins. Fewer plugins means less updating and compatibility concerns. All right, now we know what we're doing and where we're heading, let's start building our WordPress website. So after going through the purchase process, we can start creating our website. We will call it Reborn. And as you can see, our domain is reborn2023.elementor.cloud. This is a temporary domain name provided by Elementor Hosting until we connect our own domain later. I love the kit library because you can find a lot of beautiful and elegant designs as well as very functional kits for almost any kind of website. Today, we'll build a website for a social media consultant. Before designing or looking for inspiration for your website, you should know which pages you'll need. Let's take a look at the demo of this wedding kit. The design is super elegant. It's for a wedding photographer. There's a home page, a gallery page, and an about page. You can see what it looks like on mobile too. I'll start applying this kit. I'm going to apply everything. Okay, our kit is installed on our website. Let's see it live. You can see that it came across with all the assets and all the copy. You don't have to worry if the color isn't your brand style. We'll come back to that later and I'll show you a trick on how to fully customize your kit to match your own brand language. But first, it's important to go back to the WordPress dashboard and learn about some of the basics of WordPress. This is the screen you'll see when you log into your WordPress dashboard. Here you can see the latest updates from WordPress and Elementor and all the other plugins you will be using. Here's a quick link to Elementor customer support if you have any questions for the WordPress Elementor experts. We've got the top bar here. It has the website name and clicking it will lead you to the homepage of the website. Here you can see the comment section, add new, which can be a post, page, media, etc. Site lock mode. And here's a howdy for my user, which only I can see when I'm logged in. Here's the tab where you can see all your posts or add new ones. Clicking here will take you to your media library to add new media, pages, comments, all the elemental settings, templates, saved templates, and the theme builder. So you have appearance, themes, 
plugins, users, tools, and settings. And if you add more plugins, their controls will show up on the left here. Okay, let's start with pages. As you can see, all of our pages that came with the kit are listed here. If you hover over the title of a page, you will see the link to edit with Elementor and a drop down with more options. To add a new page, just click Add New here on the top of the page. You can add a title, click Save, and now we landed on a blank page with a canvas that we can build on. But let's exit the editor for now. I'll return to it later in the video. And from Pages, I will go to the Global Styles page. So this is another beautiful thing that I love about kits. Each kit comes with a Global Style page. It gives us all the colors and typography settings. So you will see that this is used throughout the kit that we are using, and this is customizable. As you change it, you'll see how this affects all the places this setting is used. You can copy and paste the style. But first, let's change the colors. Open the site settings and go to Global Colors. I'll go ahead and change all the colors that are listed here, like so. Setting primary, secondary, and body text colors here will help you later when adding text and choosing its color. So I'll update this and move on to the global fonts. Although these fonts used in the kit look elegant, I'm going to choose a font family that is a bit more playful. I chose bangers for that. Let's make it 60 pixels, line height 65 pixels. I'll set the letter spacing to four. Okay, perfect. Next, I'll set the secondary headline. I want to use another elegant font family, Playfair Display. I'll change the rest of the typography settings using these two font families, Bangers and Playfair Display. I'm going to save the changes by clicking Update. Back to the WordPress dashboard. Now click the Visit Our Page link to view the front end of the website. As you can see, all the fonts and colors have changed already. Amazing. So what's left for us is changing our content. I'll click Edit with Elementor to start editing our homepage. But before changing the content, since we recently talked about the site settings and global styles, it's a good time now to talk about the site identity and header. To edit the header, I just hover over this part and you can see that the header part of the website is highlighted. Click to edit. Because we haven't uploaded our own logo yet, we see this default one. We can change the site logo using this button and it will take us to site identity. You can change your site logo by choosing an image from the image library or by uploading your own. Okay, let's remove this. Another way is using our site title instead of a logo. Let's drag it in. As you can see, the site title already matches our branding. Next, we have our menu that displays the links on our website. Right now, the primary menu is selected. To edit this menu, click here. Now you can see all the pages that are currently under the primary menu. Or you can click here to create a new menu. Give it a name and click Create Menu. Next, I'll switch to All Pages. I'll choose which pages to include in my menu. You can arrange the items simply by dragging and dropping them. If you have posts, you will see them here. You can also do the same for your categories. You can also create a custom link in your menu. As you can see, the item external is added to the menu. You can just expand it by clicking the down arrow and clicking Remove, and then the item will be removed. So once you have your menu, click here to save it. If you want to edit an existing menu, select it from the drop-down and click Select to edit it. So let's head back to editing our header with the primary menu selected. Let's start with our number and email address and the location. Cool. And lastly, the social icons. I'll click to edit them. You can add more social icons if you like. 
Let's try TikTok for example. Okay, once you have set your icons, you can paste the links to your social media accounts here. So when the visitor clicks it, they'll be redirected to your social media pages. Okay, the kits in the kit library are designed and built by professional web designers and web developers. Sometimes they can use widgets unconventionally. As an example, here, instead of using the heading widget, our title is actually written in the icon box widget. You will learn these workarounds pretty soon as we progress. Another tool I love to use while building a website is the navigator. It's really useful for finding elements on the page. Okay, let's start editing. I'll start with the text in this heading widget. Our social media consultant is based in London. Here in this icon box widget, I'll add the name of our studio, Reborn. And the studio's main business is personal branding. Clicking on the image opens its settings. Next, I'll click to change image. Here, I can upload my own files. What I like to do is upload all my files at once. Okay, let's go with this one. All I have to do here is change the images. I'm happy with the alignment, Maybe I'll make this image a little bigger. Let's try 70%. I think it's perfect. Moving on, this is a bio section of our business. I'll quickly change the content and the image. Here you can see the color is gray, meaning that it's not coming from our global settings. As you can see, box shadow is activated. How did I see that? Because the pencil icon is colored. So I'll just paste the hex code here instead. There, done. Here instead of weddings, we'll display our most successful clients. Let's see. I want to add a small tagline here. This looks too long. Let's break it into two lines by reducing the width. Under the advanced tab, I'll find the width, select custom, and set it to a smaller width using this slider. And I want it centered. In this section, we see an image of a couple, their initials and wedding dates. Do you see the cool on hover effect? This is a flip box widget. The flip box widget lets you add content to the front and back. So here we can see that the image is embedded in the background. I'll remove it and add an image of the client like so. And this text is coming from the back. Let's change it. Client name and followers count. And also change this background color to orange here. To separate the traveler and the followers into separate lines, I'll click the style tab and under back, I'll increase the padding values from the sides, 26%. Okay. Now we've already made this one our own, the best way to edit the other two is to delete them. You'll see that one has taken the whole space. Now, let's right click, duplicate, and all we have to do is change the content. Moving on to our last section, the kind words, I'll keep it as it is and only change the names and the text like so. The next section, well, we don't need it, so I'll delete it. Next, the get in touch. Let's change it from Roberta to Zoe. We have a few more pages to edit to complete our website, but in order to keep this video just about 15 minutes, I've decided to stop here. You can apply everything we've learned so far and continue editing your website on your own. I'm sure that you'll find the answers to any questions that might rise in what we've done so far. So be confident you can do it. If you'd like to continue building your website with me for about an hour more, then click the link appearing now and let's continue the journey together. I'll be waiting for you and we'll complete all the pages left to build and finish the website together. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and click the bell so you can receive a notification when I upload my next video soon. You don't want to miss it.